back here with uh, Nico. What's up? With the O3 Explorer. Ooh, it says auto exposure. Ooh. I don't know why I can't zoom in at all with this. I figured out one time and I haven't been able to figure out the zoom again. But you can actually make the video go faster, which I've done accidentally uh, twice now. And they're accidentally in 4K, so I can't, I can't, you know, transfer them. I still can't believe I was able to do that today, though, because of Ben's suggestion. He's like, well, he's like, if you can't play your videos on your computer because your system is so out of date, he's like, you could still upload the video. If the video is actually there, even though there's no picture with the signs there, you can still upload the video. And I did. It still uploaded it. I couldn't save a thumbnail. I couldn't write any text on the thumbnail. You know. Uh, I never thought I would appreciate these buses so much, but I do. Here in the Notre Dame de Grasse borough. See this street that goes to uh, Côte Saint Luc Road, and then you can take Côte Saint Luc to uh, the twenty. The twenty. Is this thing recording? What's going on here? Okay, recording again, which is maybe not good because I'm kind of worried I'm not going to be able to put these two clips together to upload, so uh, that's the only annoying thing with this GoPro is my, my phone is too cheap. My Samsung is a great phone, but it's a cheap phone. I have like one last payment on it and it doesn't have the memory to handle the 4K videos and it's not even on 4K, it's at 1080p, so... And my computer is 11 years old. It's great, but it's 11 years old. It's like out of date for this kind of uh, high quality or high performance, as it's also known. You know? It's so weird, guys. Today is the 3rd of March 2024, and that tree almost looks like its trunk almost looks like it has a bum bum on it. Yeah. Yeah. See what I mean? And it's like nine degrees, and it's like again. Where's the snow, man? They said it's gonna be cloudy today. It's beautiful. A lot of people here in the corner. We're right about the area where we got pulled over with Ed last year with the Corvair. It's right on the street here on Grand Boulevard, a Cavendish. Yeah. Only because I was sitting crookedly in the back because there's no legroom back there. You know. So. Uh, oh, this is beautiful. I, that's the thing that's amazing about this. This GoPro. It's not just the the quality of the video and the. It's not just that, it's it's just again, there's no shaking or vibration at all. And even the sound I've noticed is amazing. You know, I used to live here, eh, by the way? I want to show you something, actually. Make a left here. I want to show you something here. I used to live on the next street parallel to this called West Hill. Uh, sorry, Chester. This is West Hill Street. And I lived there for just a few years. Whoa, oh, look at this! An old, uh, look at old caravan! Car. Whoa, look at that! That's weird repaint crap green color. Like, that's a total surprise. There used to be a nice Fleetwood Brougham in the back of this place in a Ford L9000. But I'm, I'm taking you to show you where I lived also because across the street, if you've ever seen his trucks, is Tony the Sharpener. Does that ring know. a bell? The orange step ends? Ding, ding, ding! Go around sharpening scissors and knives? No? Funny if he was there too, because you know it's one of your paisans. <laughs> yeah, make a left right here. See, right up there is Cote Saint Luc Road, so we can just jump right on that after and go to the carry. Yeah, this is where I had my Caprice for a while. It was on the street right here. Yeah, you said I, you did a burnout. Yeah, I did. I used to live right here on the left. Yeah, Tony Sharpner is right here. Look, there's his dad's truck. Oh, yeah, yeah, his yeah, truck is still there. He still has the suburb. Look, he still has both the trucks. Oh, there's his truck. His dad started that sharpening business. It goes all the way back to the old country. And the other step van, which I can't believe he still has it, is a 76 GMC, man, with a six cylinder. So what you're gonna do is, uh, yeah, just keep going. And uh, you'll make a, a right uh, on uh, one of these streets here to go up to Cote Saint Luc Road to go back to the carry. Yeah, worst case scenario, I just won't use the first clip if I can. I'll go right here or the next one. That's the next one. Yeah, when I lived here, man, I would still see some old cars, buddy, you know? Uh, not anymore. You know? Boy, that Mustang, eh? Boy, yeah, that thing is sweet, man. Yeah. Just a nice, just a nice cruiser, you know? 
with somewhat better economy. Amazing. A four cylinder car with AC and power windows and power locks. How weird is that? Yeah, really weird. What a weird car, man. Bizarre. Yeah, you're gonna make a right at the uh, light here in Cote St. Luke Road. And by the way, Cote St. Luke, which is on the other side of this road, has the. Uh, Look at that. Look how cool that is. There's two cameras. Yeah, wow. Is that cool or that what? That's pretty cool. I know. I haven't even think about that until now. So like, wow. Make a right here. Yeah, Cote St. Luke has the highest number of senior citizens in the whole city. That's why they, one of the reasons why they have their own ambulance service. Or should I say paramedic service because apparently the ambulances don't even transport anybody. Which is ridiculous. I don't, can't understand that. What do you have an ambulance for? You can't transport anybody. zoom in a bit on this thing. I don't know why. I haven't figured out all the bugs yet on this. I guess maybe I haven't read the instructions enough. I guess the only user guide, which of course is not in paper. It's online. It's funny because uh, the first walking video I did with this was up to here, but the people only saw four minutes of it because it's accidentally set automatically on 4K, so I couldn't transfer the video on the phone or the computer. So I still have uh, another part of it, which is like, I don't know, 10 minutes long. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Too bad. Oh man, you know what I'm gonna do? I just had a great idea. What? <gasps> I just got a great idea. It won't be too expensive. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get off at the carry and here in a Where's few the... several blocks, and I'm gonna go walk down and go to Wendy's and get a get oh, a baconator. Baconator. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh bacon, baby. Just to go along with my uh, uh, Tim uh, Frickin Horton's. Uh... Look at this guy. Right. Like, just go, just go. No, just go. Like, you can't wait. It's... Where's the fire? Oh wait, I'm sorry. You have a BMW. That's right. You have no patience. Anyway. Uh... I know, I just alienated all the BMWs, it's fine. And <laughs> anyway, so so yeah, yesterday I had a Tavorin's bagel. It was a, it was a BLT bacon latest tomato. Delicious and healthy. Bacon, bacon a little less no, healthy. And when I used to live around here, there was this Jewish guy. He had a black 65 Cadillac Fleetwood. It was always parked in that corner we just passed. And now lately he's been coming to the Jula. Well maybe less because they don't have the shows officially anymore you know but I love this street because look it's all curved everywhere you know it's not a straight boulevard it's not so boring you know so I wouldn't be surprised with this weather to see another another oldie or two to be honest with you because I've seen two three of them you know or four or so I wouldn't be surprised, you know, I mean, uh, people, but again, Ed is right, he has a friend one time, he did that, and he didn't have winter tires on, he got a $400 fine, for without, for without driving, snow, for driving without snow tires, uh, and, you know, this is Quebec, it's just, it is the what it is, because too many people are driving without snow tires, and even, even all seasons tires here, it doesn't cut the mustard, well, not this year, this year is a joke, I mean, there's hardly been any snow or ice or anything, so, it doesn't really matter that much, you know. Or if you want to be so kind and drive me to the Wendy's, that'd be nice too, actually. Or is, uh, uh, it's a few blocks away on the carry. And then you can right, get right, you can go right on the carry after that. You know? Oh, is it the one? Um, yeah, the one that's part of the Tim Hortons. There's a Tim Hortons and Wendy's. No, no, it's way before that. No, okay. no, no. It's just a few blocks north of here. And also, I like how I look good too in this camera for a change. I mean, I look great in this camera. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like, okay, I got a big zit here somewhere, but whatever, you know. And Nick, you look good too. You know, you're looking all dip in there. Uh, Mr. Lincoln hat there driving a Ford. Oh, Lincoln, it's a Bronco hat. Where's the Bronco? This you look know, like a Bronco. This, this, this replaced the Bronco too. So technically, it is a newer Bronco. Two. 
Well, I think it's still cooler than the newer Bronco. Yeah. And by the way, the newer Broncos, I don't like the cheap one. You know the cheap one, which yeah, is the, like... The Bronco Sports. Uh, yeah, those are the cheap ones. Yeah, the cheap one that's lower to the ground. Yeah, yeah. It's a four-door. It's, it's not the same. But the but the major one, the one that costs like, you know, what is the, it, the 60 grand? The one that grand? looks like a Jeep. Yeah, that one's sweet. That one's cool. Big tires, you know, two-door. about on COVID? Yeah. It says auto exposure. Anyway, I'm gonna stop recording here. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't want to make this too long because it's still it might be 1080p, but still it takes more more juice than uh, freaking uh, the phone. That's for sure. So uh, bye.